welcome to Tucked in Tales, the storytime podcast for kids. Tucked in Tales is a sweet PTV production. I'm Miss P, and I'm so glad you could join me today. Get comfy, because today I'm going to be reading Charlotte's Bones by Aaron Rounds. I hope you like it. Charlotte's Bones by Aaron Rounds. Many thousands of years ago, when a sheet of ice more than a mile thick began to let go of the land, the Atlantic Ocean flooded great valleys that had been scooped out by glaciers, and the salty waves of an inland sea lapped the green hills of Vermont. Into this arm of the sea swam Charlotte, her milky, smooth, muscled body sliced slowly through the water, like scissors through silk. Like a chirping canary, her voice echoed across dark waters, showing the way to her pod, as belugas have done for millions of years. Charlotte swam the ancient waters with her pod, diving deep for salmon and cod, shrimp and crab. One spring day, Charlotte swam too close to the grassy marshes and was trapped in a pool by the outgoing tide. She chirped a warning call, and the others in her pod gathered just offshore, but they could only call to her in distress until the ebbing tide drove them away. Then Charlotte was alone. Her body came to rest atop the fine sediments of the estuary floor, and her final breath whispered across the waters. I will return, the whisper seemed to say. Day after day, night after night, Charlotte was rocked by the tide. Her flesh disappeared, and her bones were covered slowly by thick blue clay and silt. Centuries passed, then thousands of years. The land lifted, the inland sea became a lake, and the marsh became a field near the lake. Woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, and giant sloths disappeared from the land. Herds of musk ox retreated far to the north, Charlotte's descendants disappeared from the lake, but still swam salty waters to the north and northeast. The descendants of the clams and mussels that were buried with Charlotte survived too, far from the field where Charlotte rested. Charlotte lay undisturbed for 11,500 years. Then, in 1849, while building a railroad between two towns, workers unearthed Charlotte's bones. Thinking the creature was a horse, they continued to chip away at the stratified clay until a man with an eye for unusual things spied the bones while out for a walk. He convinced the overseer to work somewhere else while the beautiful bones were collected and studied. A naturalist carefully removed the bones from the thick blue clay in which they were embedded. He eagerly examined each one. The bones whispered to him like the sound of surf in a seashell held to your ear. But what messages did the bones contain? No one knew how old the earth was or how much it had changed. The naturalist consulted leading scientists and reached a startling conclusion. In the middle of a farmer's field, ten feet beneath the ground, the bones of a white whale had whispered the truth of the valley's distant past. Today, Charlotte can be seen in an exhibition hall miles north of where she died, and sometimes, when the hall is quiet, her bones still whisper. 
I was alive like you, they say. Time goes by fast, they say. The earth is both strong and fragile. And on soft summer evenings, when the whispers float down the museum corridor, out the door, and across the valley, they say, don't forget me. I hope you enjoyed that. That was Charlotte's Bones by Aaron Rounds, and you've been listening to Tucked in Tales. I'm Miss P, and I'll see you next time.